Hi friends, this is Dr. Apoor Mehra and I am going to talk about five things that destroy your time when you are preparing. Number one, people keep thinking. They keep on thinking, they don't act, they keep on thinking that what is the person next to me studying, that why I did not qualify in the first go, third, why in the mid exam somebody qualified I missed out, next, why am I not scoring so well in the exam. This is called as overthinking and it is going to decrease your creativity. So my suggestion is, please act. Karma karo, fal ki ichcha mat karo. Agar karma thik hoga, achcha fal milega means, act. Try to read and focus. And if you are able to do that, automatically you will know more things. You will be on your time and you will improve. Now thinking is number one enemy of what you want to do, create 19 subjects topics in your mind. Second problem, that waste time, people look for guidance, they keep looking for guidance. They will keep on asking everybody whom they meet around the corner, please guide me. This is not the way entrants are cleared, they are cleared by strategies. You need to make your own plan, talk to one senior whom you have faith in, who is a good human being, both the criteria are important and stick to them. Do not try to talk to other people because the first one will say, maybe one people will say, one person will say don't read Robbins, the second will say don't read Harrison and you will combine and then there is a disaster. You have to understand, you have to go with one strategy to win this. You might have your own thing, you might have one person strategy, there is no foolproof strategy for entrance exams. Somebody might go straight, somebody might take a different path but finally stick to one plan, trust in your plan and you, you will do it very good. I did not qualify in my first go and my senior who was guiding me only advised me one thing. Whatever have you have read and the way you have read in the first go, just add revisions to it, nothing is wrong. And this did wonders to me and I qualified everywhere in the next go. So stick to your plan and believe, stop looking for guidance everywhere in the world. The third problem, people do not feel comfortable while taking breaks. So they have, somebody has a habit of having a walk every day for 30 minutes and during the preparation he feels I just have to miss out this break. No, you don't have to do that. You can miss out your WhatsApp time, you can miss out your Facebook time, you can miss out unnecessarily looking into TV or scrolling onto YouTube. But what is your break? Don't harm it. Take breaks, take sleep. Because they are the things which will enhance your efficiency and you will be able to save better time. Fourth issue, if they have to go somewhere, they are not planned for that visit. I'll explain. You know that your first cousin is getting married. Now your preparation during for those days should be you should have a material in your phone or things in your hand which are handy so you can squeeze in some time and study. You might be called stupid. But that is okay because finally once you qualify, you will not call yourself stupid, you wasted so much time. Show your social presence if you have to. I personally avoided everything. But if you have to, show your personal, personal presence but have your material handy to utilize your time. And the last thing which I feel is the bap of all, the father of all. Be true to yourself. People never are true to themselves. They are wasting time. And when anybody will tell them around that why you are not studying, they will give excuses because they are not true to themselves. You need to be true to yourself if you have to excel. Ask yourself, did you waste your time today? And if you are doing it, you know that you are your enemy. So the last thing is, be true to yourself and ask yourself this courageous question every day, how I could have saved time today? Your success will depend upon how well you utilize time. My grandmother used to speak these golden lines. जो समय की कीमत नहीं करता, समय उसकी कीमत नहीं करता. So if you do not value time, there will be a time that nobody will value you. So again I am repeating five things which I believe that you should not do. Stop overthinking. Take guidance from one source and stick to your plans. Do not avoid the breaks that you really love. Plan if you have to go for some social gathering or anywhere which is unavoidable. Take your material in handy. And number four, every day analyze yourself. Be true to yourself how you could have saved time. Five tips to save your time 
and be true to yourself. Wishing you all the best. Always praying for your success, Dr. Apoorv. Thank you.